It is our last day of harvest. Hopefully we have 250 acres of canola left. Should hopefully crack that off today. Have some after harvest projects such as the Western Star, which is still having a timeout. Engine lights on and he won't move. Well, he can move, but he just idles. We've got the disc, we can go disking. And we got the big Dagelman Harrows out there for some field work. Just got a few trucks to unload this morning yet. And now it is spitting out. Spitting at home, but not much down where the combines are. Maybe it won't delay our last day of harvest after all. We don't need these combines too full of fuel or death. Maybe three quarters on each, something like that. I think that might be good. September 13th today, and this time of the year is when the threat of snow can become a possibility. It must have been four years ago we were on this exact same field and we were doing canola. It was swath but it had snowed and we were doing the swaths with the pickup just barely touching the ground so we'd barely pick up the canola because there was snow on the ground. It had melted out on the south side of the swaths but on the north side of the swaths there was still quite a bit of snow. But that threat should not be a problem this year as we only have the rest of this field left and one more. It's still a little tough yet this morning. I'm not going very fast. It's not chopping and spreading very good yet out of the back of the combine. I actually think in 2018 and in 2019 it snowed in September and we were still combining. This was desiccated 15 days ago. When I got in here, I was like, whoa, it is like surprisingly thick. And this is an Invigor 340. And yeah, like this is actually one of our better fields somehow. So I don't know what happened, but this canola is actually not bad. My yield monitor right here is low 40s. Yeah, I'm averaging, I think this is a touch high. It's averaging right around 40. Everything else is going right around 30. The late push from the Invigor. This could be the earliest we're done combining in a long time. Usually we're well into October. You get some rain showers, you get some delays, you haul some grain out for a little while and you get going again. I think last year we were done on the 18th. We finished canola around home on the 18th and that was early, but there was Pretty much nothing there. Going to the last field. I'll switch all around out here again. I'll go in Dad's combine. Ronnie made it out here. He likes to go in his combine. My dad's in the truck taking trucks home. We were on this field three days ago, but it was a little bit green. There was some gopher damage. Where the gophers chewed it off and the canola kind of came back late, about a month late, and it was green. After I sprayed it, it was still green. So we're trying to cut around it. We just said, let's just go somewhere else and do this field last. So now we are on the last field and it's got to get chopped down now. Moisture's creeping up. 13, 14. This is one of the gopher patches. It's still green, but that's not very big, so. It'll mix in. This is where we cut the other day, and it's weird, all these hollows, all these light colors where the canola stalks are light, that's where the canola is the heaviest, but that's where the dry down is the best. A bit more of a normal plant, the plant can dry down better, 
all these green patches is where the plants are light like this and it doesn't dry down very good, not really a normal plant, and then the plants stay green. Heavy chopping in this hollow. 60s. Am I gonna make it? If you're really in a pinch, you can preload your auger. It'll take a little bit of grain out of your hopper and put it in the auger to fit a little more in the hopper, but that's only in emergencies. Let's see what's going on. Quite a bit of gopher damage here. So you just try to lift over their gopher holes. Try not to try not to scoop that much dirt, but it's hard to see. You kind of just do the best you can. It's time for late night tips and tricks at 10 after 7. I'm actually setting a second GPS line because part of this field we're gonna cut the other way. So if I set a second line. Now I'm going north and south. And then when I get back to the other part of the field where I was, I can switch it on the swap track button. So then when you're done with that track, hit swap track, you're back on your original line. Look at all the bush rabbits. They're everywhere. The guy doesn't know where to go. I got the honors. The last pass. Here it is. She's all over. Does anybody remember what time I said we'd be done at? You're just five minutes over. You're 65 minutes over. I said at three o'clock this afternoon, we'd be done at 7.30 and it is 7.35. We are out of here. Oh, oh, sorry, tree. 